ha, angry or me. Oh my god, maybe just both at the same time. Oh. Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lassos, and welcome to the Click Flirting School. How are you doing today? Do you want to learn how to flirt as good as me so you're forever alone? That can be easily arranged with Valentine around the corner or Halloween. Well, when we go on dates, it's pretty much Halloween all year round because it's spoopy, it's horrific, and everyone is screaming in agony. You know what the scariest organ is? Boobies. <laughs> oh, sh at least I am laughing. That's the important part. If you make a joke, the important part is that you laugh at it yourself. Isn't that right, uh, Tiffany? Yes, indeed, Tiffany. Especially you, Tiffany. You can relate to this a lot, Tiffany. I, I bet you can, uh, Tiffany. So anyway, uh, today we're going to look at a Twitter page called Not Cute and Kinky Memes, which teaches us all about the romantic life in the modern world. And I do hope you are here for it. Because God, I'm here for it. I need some tips. And I do hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Mwah. Make a GF. Seeing her naked for the time BF oh my god it's a butt it's important to keep it fresh keep it exciting and keep not wearing clothes because clothes are the prison of Satan no it's not the prison Satan wants you to take off your clothes it's the prison of God just sitting here gaming making videos yeah let me hug your leg what I'm picturing here and uh, you can tell me in the comments if you think I'm wrong or right imagine Topic Wapiki sitting and editing a video and I'm simply hugging his very huggable leg Hello, shake a leg Topic Wapiki <laughs> I made you a playlist Rail me. Oh, that's beautiful. You know in nature how some creatures are like dancing around when they want to meet a partner. Some people try to build a nest. Some people try to show animals. Some animals try to show how big and buff they are. Actually, that goes for people too. They want to try to show how big and buff they are. Some animals flex their beautiful colorful feathers to show how fertile and dominant they are. And uh, us humans, we just make uh, Spotify playlists. Isn't that beautiful? I am not a simp, but all my friends know about you. That is so freaking cute that you can't stop talking about him. For me, that would be easy because I don't have any friends. But uh, yeah, that's super cute. Wow. I never wanted to hold a hand so bad in my entire life. I never, I swear. Is this just normal people after a couple of years of quarantine when you're so... <laughs> <laughs> so starved of bodily contact. Just what I would do to hold a hand follows you. Follows you. What well, day one? <gasps> day 500. Ah, oh, oh. I feel so targeted by everything on this page. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Isn't this how it is, though? When you're finding someone intriguing, doesn't even have to be romantic. You can be like an artist you think are cool, a fellow creator, someone you like on Twitter, and you follow them. <gasps> they follow you back. Wow. Now what? I love your name. Okay, so <gasps> moan it then. Oh, this took this took a turn for the flirtatious. Welcome to. Clicks video for Halloween dating tips. <laughs> for once in my life, my, my, my brain didn't go the naughty route, okay? What I pictured instead is imagine like a little ghosty that's just flying around the house being like, Ooh, click! Because it's technically moaning my name. Because it's a ghost. Welcome to Halloween dating with Click, where everything sounds naughty, but it's incredibly lame. Let me suck at your pee pee while you're gaming. Okay, are we saying that? As <laughs> it's not dirty at all. It's not what you think it is. No, Grandma. Frick you. Literally, I hate you. Ugh. But your thighs. Holy shite. Ah, oh, that's right. A bit of love hate. Keep it classy. Keep it toxic. That's how you stay on your tippy toes for your respective other. Mm. A bit of yelling. Bit of with a bit of with a makeup. Uh, Haunting. Your hand would make a nice necklace. Okay, so my mind goes in two separate places with this post. Number one is that you're getting a bit frisky and you have a very healthy top-dom relationship. The other aspect that you can go into is like, that's a very nice hand, mind if I cut it off and wear it around my neck. Whichever you choose, Tiffany. Whichever you choose. Us. If we'd finally admit to having feelings for each other. Easy if you don't have any feelings. <laughs> Me pretending it's you. A freaking pillow. Well, that is one lucky pillow. Tiffany, if you're feeling lonely today, your pillow is the luckiest thing ever and everyone is jealous of your pillow. Is this becoming too, like, <laughs> too invested? <laughs> Us, if you ask me how my day has been. <gasps> oh, blush, it was horrible. <laughs> but then you came. And it got worse. Me, my sweet, perfect GF. Oh my god, this is so cute. I imagine the next frame to this when you tell your partner something like, you're perfect. And they're like, oh, there's no such thing as perfect. And like, but to me, you're perfect. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And in my eyes, you are everything that I could ever wish for. 
That's right. Click in the camera. This is basically a mirror. How are you doing? Click. You're everything I ever wished for. Oh, click. <gasps> I hate texting. Come frick instead. Socially awkward BF. Social butterfly GF and the heart. Oh, it's so beautiful. You just compensate for each other. That's amazing. It's like a puzzle. You don't have to be identical to fit together. That's like the most beautiful part. Ah, that's what I find with friends and stuff as well. Like the people I have the most fun with are not always people who are exactly the same as I am. Because you have different experiences, you make up for it, each other's shortcomings and all that kind of stuff. It just makes a beautiful, complete puzzle. Ah. Sleepy, hyper, and heart. Ah. Hey, uh, your lips look really nice, but they would look even nicer against mine. <laughs> Smooth as sandpaper. Me, talk to you all night or sleep. Ah, uh, I know which one I am going for. I'm just going to stay on the road here because I have no one to talk to because Topic Wapiki is a different time zone. Yo, bro, who got you smiling like that? You. It's you. How does it feel to be the source of smiles? Hmm? My little source of smiles, yes indeed. <sighs> Please look away, I'm shimping. The person reading this is just so cute. Oh my god, it's you! This is so wholesome. Oh my god, my heart is just like. Just like. Oh, yeah! I'm sorry, Clicky Kitty, are you okay? No? That's fine. Me! People who still talk to me, no matter how long it takes me to reply. That is beautiful. I'm so bad at remembering texts. It's atrocious. Maybe I'm just getting old and senile, but that's something to blame on, at least. Everyone else, not interested. You. <laughs> <laughs> I have charmed you with my potion of love. Oh, yes, indeed. You're down the sucker rabbit hole now. <laughs> yes, indeed. I see your standards are low enough. <laughs> Is that a good pickup line? Hey, baby. I, I hope your standards are low because I can't live up to much. Oh, my God. You. I gotta go. Me. Okay. <laughs> no, why? Just <laughs> please stay. Me. You. Ah, oh, we're gonna make a peach you. Hey, I just wanted to say I want you on top of me. Oh, you mean like a bunk bed? Yeah, like a bunk, but no, it's not. It is nothing like a, like a bunk. This is, this is very naughty. Satan would approve. People who use yeah are always horny. Oh my god, look at you, little guilty person. That is true, though. That is the most horny emoji ever. What did they have in mind when they made this? I'm like honestly curious. Boyfriend that listens, GF events about every inconvenience. Oh, it's a perfect match. You enjoy having your ears blown out on a daily basis, and you enjoy venting about everything. Oh my god, remember that time when I was 10 years old and stubbed my toe? <laughs> you, Courtney, for stubbing my toe on your face? <laughs> what? <laughs> Us, if you match my energy. Oh, that is so cute. Look at that. And everyone is just blushing. There's so much blushing. <gasps> Am I blushing? She's so pretty. Oh. And you're in the dark room. What are you doing? Thanks for putting up with my dumb ass. I love you, man. <laughs> Best birthday cake ever. I don't know why the freak you put up with me, but thanks, fam. I mean, it's good, good stuff. Nice padonk donk May I slap it? Your left thigh, your right thigh, my face. Oh, it's a very smushed truck. Is that why they call it a dump truck? Ha <laughs> ha! You are important to me. Stop overthinking. That is so wholesome. Wholesome time! This is something we tend to do a lot of the time, I realize. We tend to overhype issues or fantasize about future issues and having anxiety about things that never happen. There is this has half true funny saying that's something along the lines of don't ever worry because you just feel bad twice. And, uh, of course, you have to take it with a grain of salt, but something about that is true. If you worry too much, you'll end up worrying about stuff that is completely made up. Worst case scenarios that 99.9% .9 of the time never even happen. So make sure that your mental space allows you to have the happiest life that you possibly can. And uh, give people silly cakes. That's a very good way of living a good life. Me! My sweet GF lying and saying she's not the prettiest person that's ever lived outrageous bark at her bark and bite her nose. Are you okay? No, I, I miss you. <gasps> the missing piece! Oh! I love this page. It's like such a sweet mix between wholesomeness and just like cursed. And I'm so here for it. Us, if you hold my hand when we go on walks together. Oh! Well, that's the only way of getting me out of the house. You have to drag me along with you. <gasps> can you put me on like a small little red cart? And I can sit on the cart and like edit my videos and stuff. And, <laughs> and you can just drag me along so I get fresh air. <gasps> Couple goals! 
me just thinking blushy thoughts about- Is that hand holding? Oh, disgusting sins! Satan would approve. Satan is the best hand holder ever. It's just like, huh. in hell, everyone holds hands. I know you like me. I hate you. And then they ended up... Yes. May, may I have a kiss? <gasps> boop -a -dip. No, but I can boop you. I will boop the crap out of that. That's the challenging part. Whenever you lean in to kiss someone, you also open up yourself for like the ultimate boop opportunity. So I don't want people at home to like feel paranoid about this, but you may be booped when you lean in for a kiss. And that's okay. Liked your tweet. Liked your tweet. And then they... Okay. <laughs> So this is this is the other thing. So following each other leads to nothing. Liking each other tweets though. My god, now we're on, on the highway to, to Sin Town. I found out my husband brags about me to his friends. My husband still keeps in touch with all his high school and college friends with various online communities. The other day he was playing some game with one of them, and at one point he left the room. I made small talks with his friends while he was gone, and he asked me about a project I've been working on. When I asked how he know about that, he said my husband is always talking about me and bragging about my cooking and a lot of stuff that I do. He said it always amazes them, because he's always been generally sarcastic guy and disguises his compliments as insults when talking about anyone else but me. Ten years of marriage, and I love this guy more than ever. That is so freaking sweet! This is the cutest thing ever. Uh, real love never grows old. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That, that, oh, that's such a- can I, can I make this a click quote? Something like, We may grow old together, but our love will never grow old. Oh my god! That is so cheesy you can put it on a sandwich. Oh, I love it. <laughs> hey baby, did you eat today? Oh, but, oh, the love. It's only water. How boys want to be treated behind closed doors. Good boy, my good boy. <laughs> I am currently looking for a dress to wear in the video. Uh, Cause I kind of want to rock it and see how it how it emphasizes my shoulders and stuff. So uh, let's see how that works out. I I was planning to borrow one from Putat, but the thing is that they're a bit small for me, and uh, <laughs> and I look like you know a. Imagine if if you boil a sausage, and the sausage inside is kind of like getting squeezed out of the skin. That's kind of how I look in in those dresses. So I'm looking for someone that fits me a bit more. Neatly. I love you so much that I would give you my last slice of pizza. Here you go. Oh my god! Look at them, they're so freaking cute! Oh my god, I wanna squeeze something really hard, it's so cute. Are you okay? Nah, I can't express my feelings without feeling embarrassed. That is so hard. One thing I found- Hold some time! One thing I found out in life is that... It's not a great idea to always share all your feelings and thoughts with everyone, because not everyone will relate. People might be subjectively taking it as something else. Some people may not even have your best interest at heart. You will meet people that you uh, don't get along with, whether that be because they wish you harm, because it's a competitor of sorts. Mainly, you maybe you just don't have the chemistry and don't get along. But it's not ideal to share everything with everyone. It can leave you quite vulnerable. That doesn't mean you should be paranoid, and it also means that you should always have people in your life that you are comfortable sharing everything with. So not sharing everything with everyone is typically a very good thing, but always having people in your life that you can be vulnerable with something valuable. So if you feel very embarrassed talking about your feelings, maybe you haven't find, found the right one yet. And uh, while that's not the best place to be in, it's still a place where you realize what you're looking for, and you will notice a vast difference once you find it. And also people that like try to invalidate you for talking about how you feel, they, they can also go like, suck a pine cone. Oh, it's so cute. After I destroy your uterus, oh, it's so rum. Oh, you know how to melt my heart muscle. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. I saw this and thought of you. <gasps> That is the best thing ever. And then it's like a picture of poop, but but that's not important. What is important is that they thought of you. I want ice cream. Okay. God, I want to bend you over right now. <laughs> the ice cream is just foreplay. You know, it's all about the contrast. A bit of coolness on the hotness. Just dating. Hmm. Hmm. Whoosh. Marrying you and spending the rest of our lives together. <gasps> oh, SpongeBob, I never thought you'd ask. Just friends. Ah, uh, the best friends. <laughs> Isn't it convenient that BF can stand for both best friend and boyfriend? Topiki, you're my BF. Boo! Oh! Boo, beast! Oh! This is what I mean about the spoopiest organs. Do ghosts have boo-bees? 
Because that's the thing, right? Boobs have bones, and ghosts don't have bones. So can ghosts have boobies? Argue down in the comments. I'm expecting a very controversial comment section when I get back. Here we go. That man is dead. He died living. I mean, most things die living, but he, di he died being... Al you know what I mean? He died... Anyway. Thick PPBF, thick butt GF. All right. <laughs> Gamma under the blanket. I have something to show you. Oh, you dinosaurs! Oh, this is couple goals. If you don't have enough dinosaurs in your life, you will be miserable. That's just a matter of fact. Scientific source fact. I had that in a couple of my university books back in the day. <laughs> it was something like, this is the proof. Source, come on, it's obvious. Tidigt är uppenbart. All right, professor. You're annoying. I hate you. Yay, and they did the Titanic. Take me to a pumpkin patch and stuff me like a scarecrow. You nasty, I'll be there in 10 minutes. <laughs> you know the trick about your girlfriend being a scarecrow is that she scares away all the other birds. Because she's the only one for you, so all the other birds are, you know, flapping away with their boobies. Outrageous. I, I think this is what they call boning. You see, because when you do the naughties, then you can refer to it as, as boning, as a word, but it, it's also a skeleton that is made up of bones. So it's like a pun, because both definitions come together and just form an unholy bond of suffering. And that is, my friends, a pun. I'm just thinking about my dream, oh! That's like uh, five minutes after hand-holding, I guess. I love you, liar. Ah, oh, but it's true. Let me prove it to you with overwhelming love. Come to my bed. <laughs> SpongeBob. Oh, you smooth rascal. Dong dong, attention, I'm so happy to call you my bebe. <gasps> you can be my bebe. Oh my god, everyone should have a bebe. It's so good to have a bebe. <gasps> All the bebe. Isn't that right, Clicky Kitty? Okay, I don't know what I expected, but <clears throat> I take that as a yes. Well, that painting looks the way I feel. Horny for ooh. <gasps> a painting. Oh, you make me feel so attractive today. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. Artwork that projects emotions on you. Isn't that just beautiful? That's what art is all about. Can, can we hold hands if that's okay? Of course. Hold the toe beans. Oh. Why don't humans have toe beans? It's such a scam. It's so cute. It's so squeezable. And toe beans, even though they're very cute and innocent looking, are actually a sign that the animal in question is a predator. Because toe beans are used to sneak and stuff like that, so they can be silent and stalk their prey. So, the very wholesome toe bean is actually a sign of, like, devouring other living creatures. Um, yeah, it's a very fun fact. Anyway, so why don't we have toe beans? Milk? Cereal? <gasps> oh, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, according to... people? My hand, my girlfriend's butt! Oh my god! <laughs> Tall, short, oh my god, it's me and Tepiki Vepiki. <gasps> it's perfect. My love language is gentle acts of violence, like just let me bite you real quick. Oh, yum. <gasps> the most important thing is to nibble nose. If, if you bite your partner's nose, that is like the ultimate sign of love. Anyway, I do hope you learned something in this beautiful romantic video. I know I did, and my Halloween Valentine is gonna be the best one this year. I get, yeah, that's kind of what, I, anyway, so I, I hope it's the same for you, and I hope you enjoy this video, and that I see you in the very near future. Take care, you beautiful smelling bean. Mwah.